Kobus asks, what would be your top three tips for switching on your brain? Co, this is an interesting question to me. Like that? Co, this is an interesting question to me. Um, I don't really know how to answer it. First of all, I don't do well with you know top three questions. So Vayner Nation, don't ask me top three questions because I, I don't even know how to gather my thoughts in that way. I'm not an active enough thinker to execute that. You know, I don't know. I, you know, weirdly, the only thing that comes to me on this answer, and it's why I took this question because it, it's an interesting question, is passion. It's a very lightweight answer. It's a fluffy answer, but I truly believe that it is the answer. Meaning. If you actually love what you're doing, if you actually love it, there is no friction to turn on your brain. The only time I feel like I have to turn on my brain was when I was six to 22 years old when I was going through the bullshit education system of America. Right? That's when I felt like I had to turn it on you know, to appease horse crap that didn't match my reality. But ever since that day when I'm like, yay! And I went into like, you need to buy this Pinot Grigio. The second that started in May of 1998, There's never been a day that I've had to activate. It's always on, and I don't mean always on buzzword marketing. It's that I love what I do so much that there is no friction to turn it on even when I am landing at two o'clock in the morning from a flight that's delayed like the other night and then going directly into it at 6.30 in the morning because the fire is so deep inside. You love it so much. You know, you don't need that jump start. Oh crap, wait, subscribe! I need subscriptions because I can't push this many right hooks in social, so subscribe!